11 items not to wear on a plane ever. Planes are usually very strict with what kind of things people can bring into them to avoid any kind of possible dangers or complications during flight. So it shouldn't surprise you that there are some things that you should never take there. Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be presenting you with 11 items not to wear on a plane ever. Stay until the end of our video to find out which things you should avoid at all costs for bringing or wearing on a plane, and also subscribe to our channel for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin with our countdown. 11th place, super tight socks. If you want to travel comfortably, then please avoid wearing super tight socks at all costs. You can easily use these when on the ground, but tight socks can cut your circulation and lead to unfortunate blood clots in the air. A good way to tell if your socks are too tight for plane wear is to see if they leave marks on your legs. If yes, those are too tight, so please don't wear those and try something lighter. 10th place, power banks. These ones are in a bit of a gray area. Many passengers use power banks as spare batteries for their devices. If you are wondering if you can bring this portable gear to charge your mobile or your laptop during a flight or long layover, the answer is yes. Note that only power banks for personal use are allowed, and they must be placed in your hand luggage or carried around. The problem is that when you bring power banks into checked luggage, which cannot be brought to a plane, like lithium batteries, which are combustible. On top of that, your power banks also have severe restrictions. All power banks rated less than 100 watts are allowed in your hand luggage. If your power bank is 100 to 160 watts, you need to get approval of the airline before you can pack it in your carry-on. Power banks of unidentified power or power higher than 160 watts are not allowed on board the plane. Ninth place, high heels. Heels might be your go-to footwear when clubbing or going to the office, but using them for traveling, especially for long transcontinental flights that will probably exhaust your willpower, is something you should definitely avoid. You might be willing to use high heels when at the airport for the sole reason that it saves room in your suitcase in cases of overflowing luggage, but when you're actually on the airplane, it's time to switch to some flats. Not only do your feet swell when you're in the air, but the teeny tiny case where there needs to be an emergency action taking during your flight, you want to be steady and grounded and not have the possibility of tripping. Eighth place, fire hazards. No one wants to have a fire when on the ground, so imagine how dangerous a fire on a plane could be. That's why you should avoid bringing fire hazards at all costs. That means avoid fringe inflammable materials and make sure to have your body covered just in case. In case there was a fire on a plane because of a lighter or a misplaced electronic item, you're probably going to have to down an emergency slide. Emergency slides are not fun to go down and hurt a lot, and it's not a smooth landing once you reach the end of the slide. And the more you cover the surface of your skin, the more protection for your largest organ. Seventh place, skimpy clothing. As we mentioned earlier, the best thing you should do when going on a plane, even gauging the possibility of an emergency, is to be completely covered at all times. It gets cold on airplanes, so even if you're heading to a warm weather destination, make sure to bring light layers for the plane ride. That means no skimpy outfits so you don't end up freezing when on the plane. Sixth place, offensive clothing. The world is much more liberal today, but wearing offensive clothing of any kind, such as t-shirts with very graphic depictions of dark topics, or pants that might end up hurting someone's feelings, will do more harm than good for your flight experience. Carriers typically leave it up to the flight attendants to judge whether a passenger's garb is inappropriate for the wear in the air. If you're having doubts of putting it on in public, then chances are you shouldn't put that on a plane and risk being sent to the ground. So did you know that you shouldn't bring any of these sick items onto the plane previously? We certainly did not. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. So, let's keep going with our countdown. Fifth place, jewelry and metal. Wearing any kind of accessories such as metals, keychains, and anything that might be considered a potential weapon, or even jewelry, is a big no-no when flying. Even gold pieces you think are safe might not be. You might end up triggering alarms, which will slow you down considerably during TSA. Even the shape of your jewelry can be an issue, and any kind of TSA agent will be very strict with these kinds of things, so it's best to be safe than sorry. 
and you definitely do not want to be that person who has to frantically take off all their jewelry and have everyone in line wait until they do. It's embarrassing. Fourth place, strong perfume. Strong smelling perfumes, colognes, body sprays, and so on shouldn't be worn in flight. Some passengers may not enjoy the scent of your Chanel No. 5. Others might suffer allergic reactions to synthetic fragrances. Remember that in the plane there is only one pressurized tube in the sky, so everyone's going to be smelling your perfume. We all want our friends and family to know that we shower and smell well, but really, you wouldn't want a bunch of strangers stranded in a flying vehicle with you to smell something like pointy cinnamon for four to eight hours. That would be more painful than pleasing, to be honest. So, if you still want to wear perfume, make sure to wear light scents or even avoid any of these in the first place. Third place, contact lenses. Contact lenses draw moisture from your eyes. If you wear lenses, the best thing to do is remove them and switch to glasses for a long haul flight. But if you want to keep them in, make sure your eyes stay hydrated. Bring a bottle of eye drops with you in your hand luggage. But really, let's face it, travel days are a great opportunity to wear your glasses. Your eyes will thank you. The pressure and the dry air in the airplane's cabin don't make for great contact wearing experience, so you should definitely avoid these too. Second place, unbreathable fabrics. Avoid any fabric that lack breathability, such as nylon or leatherette. Add your rubber raincoat or waterproof jacket to the list as well. Less breathable fabrics hold its sweat on the skin when it's hot as well as prevent air circulation. You won't feel very fashionable sweating in too tight synthetic clothes as your plane rests on the tarmac under the hot sun. A foolproof way to find breathable clothes for the plane. Stick with moisture wicking activewear or clothes specifically designed for travel. First place, jumpsuits. Okay, this one should kind of be obvious but still bears mentioning. Airplane bathrooms are the tiniest thing ever and there's little space for anything that doesn't involve fulfilling your needs. Lest you drop your wallet in the toilet or fall and smash through the bathroom door, wear something that isn't likely to cause difficulties in the plane bathroom. Avoid bodysuits or complicated wrapped shirts or dresses, as well as long pants or skirts that may graze the unsanitary lavatory or that might end up getting you stuck in there for more than you'd like to. So what's your opinion on these items you should never ever wear on a plane? Let us know in the comments below. Also make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel for more great content like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.